welcome to a brilliant performance and welcome to... Have you ever noticed when I start these films I go, hello, like some kind of showbiz thing or get me jazz hands out. It's pretty weird, but welcome. Welcome to a brilliant performance. Welcome to the... And yes, it's Monday afternoon walk around. Like I said, I think we have changed them to a walk around, a weekly walk around, but we're still going to do it on a Monday if we can. So welcome, welcome to a brilliant performance. I am going to give you a little bit of a walk around on what's going on. I'm going to show you what bikes we've got in what's new what's hot what's not see what's going on so you can just keep a catch up on what's going on thanks very much for your feedback it has been spectacular i really really appreciate all the uh, emails that we get in the phone conversations uh, uh, and uh, and any suggestions that you've got about stuff that you'd like to see we're going to do the technical bit afterwards as well just so you can see we've got quite an interesting one which uh, uh, is going to affect people that have got um, the uh, all bikes from all years really I just want you to make sure that you understand what's going on but uh, but we'll show you that one in a little bit not a problem so bikes that we've got okay a couple of things that we've got this week that's going to be slightly different we've got Ewan's bike here not a problem we've got our track bike that we're going to sell so we've got that so if anybody's looking for some historic race bikes we've got some historic race bikes uh, we've got Adam's bike over there that's still looking for a bit of work we've got an 03R an 03R needs registering it came from abroad but it needs registering in this country but that's going to be up for sale very very soon so a 2003 RSVR the best gen one they ever made as far as I'm concerned that one will be for sale this is Darren's 2003 Tuono Racing this is our Edwards replica that's up for sale at the moment that's going to be out for what is up for sale 4999 get in touch if you want us get in touch let us know if you want to uh, any information on it if you want any more about it had a couple of inquiries a couple of little tipples on it but still for sale at the moment Sean's bike over there, and we've got a couple of the bikes over, like I said, a couple of the Ducatis that we're looking at that uh, we've just got to get time to find. The non nitrous nitrous V4 and Spanish Owls uh, KTM. I've actually got my nitrous RSV out. I think on the uh, open day we're going to get it out and make sure it works. We're going to get it out, we're going to clean the carbon wheels on it, make it beautiful again. It's been set, lingering in the corner for a little while, so I'm going to try getting that out and make sure that. Uh, I've given it a bit of a love, bit of a love. We fired it up the other day, found a little bit of thing that we need to do to it, but that's my baby, so I'm going to keep hold of that one. Right, what else have we got? We've got one of the track bikes for our engine refresh. We've got a couple of engines that we've bought for people that are going to trouble. We've got a situation last week where Chris needed an engine for his bike. We couldn't help him with one. It took us a little while to get hold of it. So we've got a couple of engines and if you come around here you can see people lurking in the background over there. Look, my mate Frosty and the boys. <laughs> Say hello mum. Hello mum. Hello mum. Hello mum. Hello mum. Uh, we've got the, R3, uh, the, the 03 R1 over there. Just follow me over this way a little bit. Just watch what's going on. Just watch my, the ramp. Mind you don't fall over the pipe work. We've got two V4 engines over there. They're all in for refresh work, so we're going to refresh those motors so we know what's going on with those. We've just got to put those in. This is Bo's bike. I wanted you to have a quick look over this here as well. Thumb brake. So Bo's got a thumb brake. Now Bo has promised us some big, big pictures of stand-up wheelies, standing over the back. You know, you put your feet over the back, that kind of thing. He's promised us some big pictures on that one. So I'm looking forward to that one and I'm really, really grateful that he's going to do I'm, I'm hopeful he's going to deliver on that one. Otherwise, we're going to mock him mercilessly for the rest of his life. Not a problem. Then we've got Joe's bike over there. Joe's bike's coming for a bit of a charging issue. Strangely enough, Gen 1 charging issues, it doesn't normally happen. But sure enough, we've actually found a regular rectifier gone down on that one. Pretty rare. On what? Well, pretty well unheard of almost as it sits normally on these bikes if you have a quick look there's this block connector here there's a block connector five pin white round block connector normally it would be that that's going to give you a problem if it is actually giving you a problem it would normally be that this brown block connector that people keep talking about like I said on the gen 2 charging film it's not normally a gen 1 problem this is a gen 2 problem but normally if you're going to have a charging problem do you want to poke come in and have a quick look at this this round block connector here, that if it's a Gen 1, that'll be the problem, that's where it is. Very, very rare that these bikes actually get a problem, but we've got a little bit of a technical one that we're gonna do uh, later on, I'm gonna show you a bit of a thing with this one, with these wheels, these are the Brembo wheels that come on this sort of Gen 1 R versions. Uh, we've got a little bit of something that I want to show you what's going on. A couple of guys have spoken to us about it, but I want you to know. So, if you wanna get in touch, 
get in touch with us. You can email us at service at aprilliaperformance.co.uk. You can get in touch with us on the Facebook group. You can uh, get in touch with us via uh, uh, the YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that's Aprilia Performance UK. Uh, or you can give us a call at the office, not a problem. Let us know what you want us to see. Let us know how you want to get us on, not a problem. If you want to sort of get in touch, let us know what's going on and we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.